Hello guys, welcome to Players Guild. We are on day three of Yellow Reveals, I think. Yeah, it is day three. Woo! Uh, all, all aboard the superhero hype train. That's been a day, yeah. We have more superhero stuff, so still no Daddy Bardock. No Daddy Bardock. Just uh, making I, me I, wait for it. I feel it. I feel it. I think you're right. They're just hyping the movie, because the movie is out on Friday, right? Yeah, it is, yeah. Uh, so before we start today, uh, just a quick note, if anyone is in UK and plays Digimon, we have finally the tickets for our tournament, Digimon tournament, uh, available with our Wicked sponsor for Wicked Fish. Uh, it's a case tournament, top 8 is going to get a split of a case, first place is 4 boxes, £20 entry, 3 packs uh, for participation. Uh, tickets are available on our site, which is a new site, playersguild.co.uk. Because the old one was sadly um, hacked, so we needed to get a brand new one. Um, for what else is worth mention, the tournament will be streamed. We're still looking for streamers, so if you're interested in casting the tournament, do let us know. Yeah. Um, and let's go. Yeah, now, oh. now let's go. Why we here? Uh, let's Dragon talk about Trunks growing up. Uh, so he is a super combo. So someone actually called this in the comments yesterday. Um, because apparently Trunks was seen in the reveal trailer, yeah. and yeah, they were like, I wonder if it's a super combo, and they were exactly right, it is a 2 drop 15k super combo, if you lay the card is yellow and your life is 4, you draw a card. I'm really disappointed we haven't seen new super combos here for, to do, for something to do with the energy. I, I think we'll see it in Z2, honestly. Yeah, but I, I, I would like to see something like you pay uh, 1 Z energy to super combo. Oh, that'd be interesting. Ooh. And the card is removed after combo. Yeah, so, like so it doesn't do so it doesn't go back to Z energy because then it would be free. Yeah, I yeah, would like okay. to see that. Yeah, me too. Uh, and then we got Pan growing up fast. <laughs> oh, cute Pan. outfit! It's such a cool outfit. Uh, so she's a one drop four K unique barrier. When it sh when she's played, she's draw one, so she's a cantrip. That's it, mid. If your leader card is a yellow glow superhero and you have a yellow sun gohan. Z battle. Uh, play this card from your hand in rest mode. Okay. Um, so this very important thing is that this is not limit to activate main. No. So you can play her. Mm -hmm. Then you can success her. And you can play her again. That is true. I think successor is going to be really interesting in here if you can find the very specific situation, but it also requires everything rolls around that Son Gohan Z battle. As far as I remember, that Son Gohan Z battle does not have barrier, which means mm, you need to no. remove it four times, and that's that. That yeah, because once the Z battle card is removed, we know it's now removed from the game. It never comes back. Huh? Yeah, interesting. So does. I'm just trying to think. Ox King doesn't give it barrier, does it? Uh, two or less might. It might. Yeah, uh, it's but then not. Do you... Sorry. Gohan's not a... Oh no, he's not. Yeah, yeah, because that's only Goku's lineage, isn't it? Yeah. Uh... Oh no, Gohan t is Gohan is a two drop. Shit, this might work. Yeah, it's uh, a two drop. What, what? But the thing is yeah. that you have charismatic fill and you have stuff like that and. Uh, this is uh, this is coming down to exactly what I was talking about. All that removal for two or less is suddenly so much more powerful. That is very true. That incidental removal is suddenly very powerful because this deck revolves all about the Son Gohan uh, Z battle card. So I expect we're going to see a second one. But that still, if we're going to get a Z uh, leader, that means you only get six Gohans. That's still a very limited amount. That Yeah, true, true. Uh, so then we'll move on to Sun Gohan Parental Love if you want to take this one out. I, I must say, I absolutely love the outfit of Gohan in his dad's outfit. I, I, yeah, his dad's outfit and the nerdy glasses. I feel like it's just a great combination. Yeah, but he looks really way like. younger than he is in here because he's like in his yeah. 30s, isn't he? Yes! In the film. I was, I was, like, he still looks quite young. Because Goku, like, in the film, Goku's going to be like in his 60s. Is he? Is that right? Yeah, he was in the 50s when Tournament of Power was happening. Oh, shit. Yeah. Let's go. Grandpa Gohan. Goku. Yeah. 
Uh, so, one drop, 4k power barrier. Limit one, if your leader is Piccolo, uh, shh, card. Uh, when this card is played from your hand, you either draw a card or add pan growing card oh, from your deck to your hand. Okay. That Holy. Okay. This is scary. Because that lets, that lets you build up successor very easily. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you can't success as your battle cards, but this is your two, right? Um, well, also, this is Gohan you... superhero. You can evolve on top of him. Oh, that's a very good point. This is a two in the Jade drop. Wow. It has barrier as well. That's kind of nuts. Yeah, this de this deck has uh, some crazy potential in it right it now. It has very explosive potential. Problem is, yeah, this one has barrier, that's fine. But that Z battle card is so necessary for the uh, for the whole scenario. Mm. That a deck that's going to have a lot of removal is just going to deny anything to the deck. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think sequencing is going to be very important. Yeah. Uh, Piccolo Namekian Pride. Two drop. One no, satisfied. Piccolo yeah. Battle Card. Woo! 15k. I actually really love. See, like, this is where the art style really works for me. Yeah. Like, I, I see, I saw, like, there was a discussion about people not really liking the art style. You know what? If it's not your thing, I, that's totally fine. But yeah, I just think it really works. Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Uh, unique Barrier. While this card is in rest mode, your opponent can't attack your leader. So it's a deadly defender. Yeah. Let's go! But it keeps 15,000. Oh, no, because oh, they, 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 no, no, they were 20 and then they went down to 15. Yeah, but they were also free times. Uh, discard one card from your hand when this card is KO'd. Play this card from your drop it. Oh, what? With its skills negated for the turn, though. Yeah, but it comes back. <laughs> yeah, and his barrier, so... Uh, on top of this that, is... I, I I'll just point out something. This is not tied into any leader. No, no. You can play this in any... It doesn't even need to be yellow leader. And this is a two-drop Namekian. Yeah. Uh, then, didn't we have... Didn't we have things that proc off when they're discarded as well? Uh, no, I know Piccolo uh, procs off... Yeah, we had things that proc when discarded and when we play stuff from the drop, right? Yeah, so I, there's a lot of synergy happening here. Damn, Piccolo, and that's a common. Like, like, this is a really good this common. This is a really good card because you can find it with a simulation because that's Namekian with two Yeah, it's Namekian. Oh it? my god. A <laughs> simulation getting banned. <laughs> it's a unique, which is. Which it has to be. It has to be unique, yeah. In this, you wouldn't be able to get uh, anything else. This is. And then, Heart of a Teacher, if you want to take this one. Uh, another Piccolo card. Oh god, Piccolo's getting all the Piccolo cards. So one drop, 4,000 power. When it's played, you tutor from the top five Earthling or Namekian. Both need to be yellow and with cost four or less. Or yellow unison with cost of two. Add them to your hand. Nice. And then activate main battle. If your leader is Piccolo's superhero card and you switch this card to rest mode, draw a card, discard a card. That's nice. Interesting. Hmm. I'm not sure what to think about this one. Uh, again, it's target for simulation. But... Draw one, discard one, gets to proc some things. The fact you can do it during your opponent's turn is nice. Um, that unison played itself if discarded, didn't it? Yeah, I believe so. So that's not bad. So this is actually fairly good turn one play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, we're moving to something interesting. Yeah, so that's the end of Superhero from what it looks like. Unless yeah. there's any like spoilerific cards they want to wait till Friday to drop. I don't think so. I think that is the end of Superhero by the looks of it. Yeah, uh, maybe it, yeah, one we're or two cards, in. but... We're moving into Monkey Boy, if you want to take this one. Yeah, so it's, I guess it's a support for the old deck. Well, the new deck, right? <laughs> the new deck? Oh, yeah, the starter deck, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Great Ape Son Goku Instincts Unleashed. So, 5 drop, 2 yellow, 25,000 power, double strike blocker. So, the the old thing with the apes being blockers. Apes being blockers, yeah. Evolve for limit 1. You can only do it once. 2 yellow and 1. Draw 1 card and evolve on top of any Son Goku childhood. It can evolve on top of itself. 
Uh, when this card is played, you choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards in rest mode, KO it. Which is fine. And if your leader is a yellow Son Goku Childhood card, or a yellow Z leader, any Z leader. Uh, when this card is removed from a battle area by opponent's skill, play up to one yellow Goku Childhood with cost 4 or less that doesn't have great ape from your drop. Interesting. So, there is a lot to unpack in this one. There's one very specific thing I'm thinking about, uh, which is the old King Vegeta ape. The one that gives them more barrier? Yeah. Oh, it reduced mm. the combo power, didn't it? I thought it was reducing the evolve. Oh, no, no, no. Oh yeah, because the old ones were when you combo with them, wasn't it? You can evolve on top. You put them on top of them, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the one. That was the mechanic. I mean, free energy for a double strike, 25,000 power to draw a card, remove something in rest mode. And then when it's removed... It's difficult to say. Uh, is the World Martial Arts Goku childhood? Uh, a four or less. Which one? The uh, well, explosive spirits of go childhood with four or less. Yes. Um. Yeah, that's actually true. Play up to one from your drop, so you can combo these cards off. Yeah. Uh, I yeah I I like I think this is one that like on paper without like actually looking into the deck, I can't say whether it's good or not, but I like it in theory. So the thing with this one is, when it's removed from battle area by opponent's skill, so it doesn't work with battle, mm. but it doesn't say that it needs to be sent to the drop. Can no, be yeah, or can, can be go it. back to hand, can be put yeah. in life. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I'm, I'm interested to see what we can shenanigans people can come yeah. out with it. Uh, and then we'll move on to Bulma, searching for adventure. Loves this outfit of Bulma's. Uh, one drop, one K. Um, if your leader is a Z yellow Z leader with Sun Goku in its name, this card gets 14k power. All right. Oh, so it's one um, fifteen. When this card is played, draw a card. Can trip once per turn. Discard one card from your hand. When this card attacks, oh, uh, when this card is switched to rest mode by one of your skills, draw a card and switch this card to active mode. That's actually quite good. Okay. Because the okay. Goku leader was switching your cards to rest mode. Yeah. So you switch this to rest mode. You discard the card like. Oh, say an a instinct. A Saiyan oh, instinct. Yeah, or a Goku childhood. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And she's not limit one. She's not unique. It's a one drop 15k. Yeah. She's going to be strong. Yeah, I think so too. I, I think it's nice that they showed these two cards together, I think. Yeah, definitely. Um, but um, we had so many cards today. We did. It was a, it was a nice treat. Um... And still no daddy boss. My, er, my only concern with this is it's starting to feel like set 12 yellow, where you had the freezer regenerating life, you had yeah. the shadow dragons, and you had the skillless engine. And now, I don't know if maybe this is just two cards extra to support the deck, like we saw there was some extra cards in red for Pan, and maybe this is just the extra stuff for yeah. the deck in yellow, because we know there's a Bardock leader. But Bardock can potentially tie into this, but this feels very Goku deck orientated to me. Um, what do you think about a conspiracy theory that I'm working on right now that Bardock is going to get Z-Leader, which mm -hmm. evolves on top of any Goku's lineage? That'd be cool. That'd be really cool. I'd be I'd be down for that. Uh, there's some really great artwork that uh, Toyotaro did of uh, Goku and Bardock like, fighting together, and it's, yeah. it's really nice. Uh, if they could manage to pull that in there, I'd be like, yeah, that's like my, that's like my chase card there. Even if it's a common, I'd be like... Yeah, that's nice. Uh, I think it would um, be a Goku leader, but that can evolve on top of any uh, either yellow Goku or Goku's lineage leader. That'd be cool. I'm, I'm then, excited to see what we get tie tomorrow. And in into that. I think, I think tomorrow will be very telling, but I think this is mainly support for the deck. I don't yeah. hate that. I don't, I don't think we're getting that. more than that, because Pan also got two cards, Gotenks got one or two cards. Oh, Gotenks did... Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, so this is just support for the deck. It's not and anything did we to do see blue? What was blue? Uh, Blue's deck is Trunks, and yes, we did. We got the Goku and the Vegeta. Yeah, yeah. And then we also got the Whis and the Beerus for uh, the uh, 
reboot. Yeah, for the reboot for the pre-release leader. Yeah, see, this is what Bandai should be doing, and they this is what they kind of promised with Unison Warriors, and then didn't deliver really yeah, on. Yeah, please. You know at, that's at my least, gripe. At least there's something in the set that ties into the decks, and that's a yeah. good start, and that's a good that's a good basis going into Zenkai series. Um, Let's so see if overall, they can keep it up. Overall, like really positive vibes, really positive vibes from this. Like, I really like this yellow strategy here. The ape stuff has me interested because in set three I did play apes because I loved playing monkeys that just go, grr, I'm a monkey. Yeah. Um, not mecha apes before anyone jumps on me. No, I, I, I played I played the apes the proper way just to play the bardock, which the SR bardock, which doesn't work at all. Oh, God, I love that SR bardock. It's like one of my favorite cards in the game. Um, oh, the seven drop. Yeah, the, the, the big one. <laughs> Oh, I love that SR. It's like one of my favorite cards in the game. Uh, you know what? If that becomes playable again, I'll be so happy. It was playable <laughs> like, for a while, wasn't it? Like, there, there was a strategy to make it playable. It's not good. Like, even if it's playable, it's not good. But it's like, I just want it to work. Um, overall, I really like it. I like that there's some support for the deck in here. And, like, actually good support as well, right? Um, yeah, the decks are... The decks look interesting. I want to see what they're going to do with Bardock. I definitely the most the thing I'm most excited for is Shadow Dragons. Cause they seem very fun. Yes. Yes. Uh, but besides that, yeah, I want to see what they do. I want to see what they're going to put in the tournament pack as well. Yeah, I think the tournament pack is going to be very interesting. I feel like we're probably going to see. What did we miss here? Uh, we could easily see a Krillin or a. Uh, I think we could see a Krillin actually, a superhero, um, or Goku and Vegeta superhero actually, because we we have to hang we didn't get a Goku or Vegeta superhero. Um, do you think I, they're that not really be for the next set? No, because they're not really in the film. Okay. <laughs> um, spoilers. Sorry, they're they're in the film, but they're not in the film. Um. I'm, ah, this is just really interesting. Oh I mean, yeah, like roll on Bardock tomorrow. And well, then yeah, there's this black is... as well, isn't it? Yeah, Shroom Salsa and potentially SS4 Vegeta. We're still up in the air whether that's actually got a leader or if it's a Z leader or something. We'll find out. I'm guessing. Um, I'm expecting a freaking Z leader for Mech Kibura, but I think that's going to be Z2 at this point. I have a very um, random question for you. Shoot. That I just thought about because I thought that we've seen all of the secrets, right? Do we have seen all of them. Sorry? We have seen all of the secrets. Yeah. So, do you think in one of the next set we're going to get a secret Z leader? I think it could happen. Because we were. In the past, there was always that rumor that we're going to get a secret leader, secret leader, etc. Yeah, which I think everyone, like, unanimously agreed would be a bad idea. Yeah. But a Z leader is a different scenario. Because. If you could get secret Z leader, that would be by far the best secret because you know that you can't lose it and you always have access to it. True. Or at I, the same I, time, a secret Z battle card. Oh, I think for sure we're going to get Z battle cards as yeah. secret res. I, 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 I think there was none in this set. But to be fair, Unison Warriors, we also didn't get Unison secret in this first set. No, I, I think they're going to build up to it, right? Like, they're just. They're, 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 they're introducing it slowly, and then that's why I think next set's going to be crazy. Because if you look at it, like, yes, we had a crazy amount of cards in uh, Rise of the Unison Warriors. Yeah. Um, but those crazy cards didn't really become crazy until we hit set uh, a Vermilion Bloodline. Yeah, yeah. Vermilion Bloodline was what kind of broke up the world and was like, hey, you know what's fun? Chaos. And then Supreme Rivalry. And yeah. And, and then, yeah. Right. It seems like every other set, Bandai kind of just goes, you know what? Let's push the bar a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Although the Middle and Bloodline case, they, they went too far and was like, oh, crap. We made too many free players. We made an archetype of Fate to care free players. Yeah, that Oop. was not smart. <laughs> Even though they designed it initially as a very controlled, how I was playing it. Yeah, <laughs> it got 10 into Super Aggro. Like, was, the fact that Heartfelt Plea was getting played in that deck, man, like, oh, I, I love the creativity of card gamers, man. I, I, but Plea was like only played the... in that deck after they made that red-black Dark Broly. The ultimate deck one, yeah. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, crazy times, crazy times. Uh, but yeah, guys, let us know what you think of these reveals today. Are you excited to see Bardock? What do you think of the superhero cards? Uh, any other things you want to ask them, Loki? I don't think so. Cool. If you're interested in Digimon, please do sign up to the Digimon tournament. Uh, the link should be in the description. Uh, the top link should be in the description for that. Uh, it's £20, as Loki mentioned. You're going to get some stuff for entering. There's a case split in the top eight. We're going to have a stream of it. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. And yeah, we'll see you tomorrow.